Okay, so today we are going to be talking about mitigation. Mitigation is a way of addressing climate change and being climate resilient um, alongside adaptation. Um, these two go hand in hand. So mitigation is any effort aimed at minimizing the extent or impact of climate change, and it includes any attempt to seriously curb the amount of greenhouse gases we are releasing um, into the atmosphere as well as steps to remove CO2 from the air. CO2 stands for carbon dioxide. Um, so the city of Boston has a couple of plans for how to implement some mitigation steps into Boston and specifically East Boston. A lot of these plans um, include retrofitting older buildings so that they can be more efficient in their energy consumption and um, have better insulation so that they use less heat in the winters and less air conditioning in the summers and generally so they can be um, up to date with really the standards that are necessary to um, consume less energy overall. Additionally, any new housing that's created for the city, including um, affordable housing units, has to be compliant with net zero or energy positive um, code and construction. What this means is that buildings need to overall their energy consumption has to equal either zero um, fossil fuels being emitted um, and this can be achieved through all again all different sorts of ways including insulating the building correctly or just offsetting um, the amount of carbon dioxide that is emitted by um, planting trees, for example, or sending funds to companies that remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Um, additionally, energy positive buildings are sm on the smaller side generally, and they um, rely on wind or solar energy to get their energy and can sometimes even um, produce more energy than they need, and they then send that energy off into the grid um, that the rest of us use for the city or in our own homes, especially homes that um, are on the older side and can't necessarily immediately make their own energy or um, be energy positive. Um, additionally, the city has a goal of being carbon neutral by the year 2050. This um, will only be done through steps of adaptation and mitigation going hand in hand and making sure that the city is prepared for climate change but also doing its part to minimize the effects and the causes of climate change. Um, <clears throat> there are a lot of different ways that the city can become carbon neutral. Some of them include all of us doing our part and um, taking public transport, so they incentivize public transport by providing discounted rates for people that qualify, um, like students and the elderly population. Um, they've also incorporated some permits for um, public bikes, like the blue bikes, so that you can use them around the city and not be motivated to take um, autumn automotive transportation or cars around the city. Additionally, they provide recycling bins and um, there are a lot of incentives now to recycle. Some of them include um, you get bottle returns for recycling cans and glass bottles and returning them to places like Shaw's or other supermarkets that then take those and professionally recycle them. Um, it's important that this gets done because this is actually one of the ways that we can make sure that less and less products have to be made and we can just keep reusing the same ones um, or just sending them off to be used for different things in the future. Um, another way that you can help mitigation efforts is by shopping locally. So this will help avoid the um, added greenhouse effect um, that will come from transporting things from very far places. So if you order something online, trying to order it from a local place or ordering it without packaging so that you don't cause any more greenhouse gases to be emitted um, through production or transportation. Finally, 
One way that you can help mitigation efforts is by writing letters to elected officials and telling them that you care about mitigation and telling them that you want them to prioritize renewable energy and other solutions to get greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Mitigation efforts are really important to the cause of climate resilience and they help make us all more prepared for climate change by reducing the amount of climate change that we're all going to have to live with. And there are lots of plans for the city, um, so I encourage you all to read up on them. In particular, the goal for the city to be carbon neutral by 2050 is a huge one because it will motivate a lot of other cities and smaller municipalities to get involved with other similar efforts and um, yeah, thank you for watching.